What's going on you guys, Paul here with Paul's Performance and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on a 7.3 Power Stroke. I'm just gonna show you guys how to check the fuel pressure on a 7.3 Power Stroke, particularly the early OBS style is what I like to call them, the 94 through like 97, I think they had a 98, but 98 was it for year. That body style and that, that Power Stroke engine with the mechanical fuel pump that is ran off of the camshaft. The particular concern we have is this truck shut off on the guy while he was driving and would not come back to life. It's a lot of stuff that could cause that, but in this particular case, it ended up being a fuel pump. So I'm gonna show you guys how to check the fuel pressure on one of these, just in case you have a similar thing and you wanna check it out, because this is part of the diagnostic. Let's get under here. Let me show you guys how to check that. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a fuel pressure gauge. This is a zero to 100 PSI Matco gauge. And then we have our fitting adapter that's gonna go to the Schrader valve. On this particular truck, it's got the Schrader valve on the right side. I know there's some trucks that may not have that Schrader valve, so you may need to get a fitting. You can just look up 7.3 Power Stroke fuel pressure fitting, and you should be able to get that with the 90 degree elbow and the Schrader. Factory one sticks out through the side. You can put a 90 on that to get a little bit easier to get to, but we can get to this one pretty easily. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Samuel to get up in there and show you guys with it hooked up. I have the other fitting already hooked up because I have a couple of these. We have our fitting hooked up to the side of the fuel bowl, and we have our gauge hooked up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. For those of you guys who have your truck that's running, you're wanting to check your fuel pressure to, you know, see if maybe that's a power loss or something. It's the same way, but you'll just crank it up and watch the pressure. For this truck, it will not start, so we're not going to be able to do that. We're just going to have to be able to turn it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and we're going to watch this gauge and see what kind of pressure we're building. What we're going to be looking for is 40 plus PSI, preferably more than that. If it's under 40, right there in the lower 40s, that's where you're probably going to start to see some issues. If it's less than 40, then that's probably the reason you're not starting. Well, one more thing about the fitting is make sure your fitting going into that Schrader valve is the correct Schrader valve fitting and it's able to open up the Schrader. If you're using the one that doesn't have anything to open up the Schrader, you won't get any pressure because the Schrader's closed. So just be aware of that. So now I'm gonna go in here and crank it up. You guys watch the uh, gauge and we'll see what this truck's doing for pressure. As you can see, the pressure is not where it needs to be. I was a little surprised that the truck actually did start with that low of a pressure, but these 7.3s are pretty resilient. They cease to amaze me, but it should have a lot more than that. Um, that's why you could hear it kind of running kind of rough is probably because it only has like 10. I think when I matted it down a little bit, it went up to about close to 15, but that's as high as I could get the, the fuel pressure to go. And I would say probably once it heats up, it probably drops down to zero, which is probably why it shut off on him while he was driving driving, but it should be up above 40. But that's how you check your fuel pressure on a 7.3. As you can see from this, it still ran with 10, but I doubt every 7.3 is going to be like that. Um, this one just may have just been a fluke, but like I said, it was running pretty rough. So that concludes how to check the fuel pressure on a 7.3 Power Stroke. Like I said, this is for the 94 through 97 7.3 Power Strokes with the mechanical fuel pump that runs off of the camshaft. Hope this helps some of you guys out there who are working on your 7.3. I know there's a lot of you guys out there. These things are still on the road they go a long ways they're very good trucks but i know a lot of you guys are working on them now because they're 500,000 miles probably clicking up right now a lot of stuff's probably starting to go bad anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this helps some of you guys out please like and subscribe and see you guys next time